Paul from JHD Architects. This video is about how to embed a web link as an IFC uh, parameter within an ArchCAD object. Uh, on screen you can see a, a building that we've been working on recently where we have a whole load of curtain walling and what I'm going to do is to show a web link to the curtain walling brochure that's actually embedded in the curtain walling object itself. Uh, the advantage of using IFC is that when we export this file as an IFC file which can be read then by many other 3D programs uh, the full information goes with it whereas if you embed it uh, elsewhere just as a standard uh, item in an ArchiCAD object uh, it can be very difficult to export the same information so that other people can access it. So the first thing to do is you need to find your way to the IFC manager. So go to File, here, File Special, IFC 2x3, and go to IFC Scheme Setup. Now this is part of ArchiCAD that some people maybe haven't explored before, but it's extremely uh, powerful and actually quite straightforward. And you'll see there I'm in the top of the d directory tree um, and on the right hand side which is you know the standard items uh, that have been created by me there's nothing there yet so what we do is we create a property by clicking on this box here. Uh, the first thing you do is have to name the property set. Now ArchiCAD always prefaces that with P S E T uh, and then an underscore character and I'm then going to call uh, that web link change that E and here I'm going to put URL and I'm OK there you can see what it's going to look like this is actually the URL is actually a label which means we can put text in there later so I'm going to apply that we then pick item of curtain walling and open the dialog box and go to manage IFC properties. We can see down here all the way down to the bottom there is the one we want. If we tick that ticks box it will then appear in the dialog box for that object. As you can then see there is URL and that's a text file that we can put something in. So we click OK there. The next thing we do is uh, decide what we're going to put in there as a web link. I choose to use Dropbox. Uh, the reason is if you use a manufacturer's website then they remake their website which happens fairly frequently then it breaks the link. If you create a Dropbox folder for your project, you're in control of that and it can stay there for the lifetime of the project. So that's what I've done. I've put a curtain wall brochure in here as a PDF, which I now want to create a link to. Now, most of you will be familiar with the fact that you can create links to folders in Dropbox, but you can also create a link to an individual file. And if we click on this little thing here, share link, it opens that particular file and instead of emailing to someone there we if we click get link there you'll see that it says link copied to clipboard so it's now on the clipboard if we flick back to ArchiCAD open up that object and in the URL uh, table there we just do control V to drop in our link that's then embedded if we then save this as an IFC file and you will see once it's that's the cur curtain wall element that we've just embedded the link uh, basic data about identification uh, what the model name is the discipline uh, the ID that we've shown in ArchiCAD the layer, uh, various other useful information. Uh, it also gives you quantities, tells you how big it is, what the height, the width, etc, uh, etc. Et but in 
pale text behind, you'll see it's got PSET underscore web link. If we click on that, there is our web link. If we click on that now, it opens Dropbox and gives you access to your PDF. Now, of course, that's from within IFC, so you may well have sent that to, say, somebody like a quantity surveyor, and they then uh, have a very, very easy and quick link straight to the brochure that you want them to use to take uh, to, to develop the design a bit further. Or it could be that this is something you send to a subcontractor or supplier for pricing or for technical advice, and you're again able to communicate what your intention was. So that's uh, the way I've worked out how to do this. I uh, hope you find it useful. Um, I'm certainly using it to embed a lot more data outside our model rather than loading it up onto the model itself, so it saves file space. And um, we're finding people can use it very easily because everybody can cl click a web link. Uh, the other interesting thing, of course, is if you schedule the information, say on a window schedule, which I won't do for now, uh, and then save as a PDF, then the web link is uh, embedded in the PDF and works direct from the PDF as well. So, you know, that's an even easier way for somebody to access the information. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you found it useful and uh, send me a comment if you like it or if you've got some better ideas how to achieve the same thing. Thanks a lot.